East Coast. We're going to head over to Gareth and Lacoste. Yeah, a classic Beast Curse draft there, the K1 Troll, you saw that one coming. But the Phantom lands a pick for Fnatic and the ability to maybe snowball this could... But the toss He's back. He's back up. He's got the toss back in the tower. See, smile, slap down, swashbuckle yeah. from Briar, find another one. And Fnatic on a roll. DJ really on point with these rotations, also finds the best item you can. One, oh, one of the Jin Q oh, favorites as well, Tumblr Stoy, being able to close the gap. And he's level 7, 11 minutes into the game. Dubu is about to hit level 6, so we'll have that global presence. Uh, in terms of Keep Fnatic at bay, hide away in the trees. And the aggression for Fnatic now really coming into play as they dive over the shards, they blow up Gojira. A few more hits should do the job here. And Stinger also in trouble. Bryle wraps around the long way. Avalanche toss to secure the kill, and Bryle on a mega kill streak. Radiance middle top. Two Diffuser Blades coming in clutch now. So that's going to be 160 mana burn per Swashbuckle and also PL burning your mana. So, or one of these Beast Coast supports. But they beelining straight to mid. Avalanche toss, catching C Smile. Now they'll use the X Zone. C Smile, BKBs, and TPs. Not successful though. While Tomato also hunted Stinger all the way towards that Radiant Triangle. And that's what we mentioned, They, them having enough damage that goes through Magic Community, they get the kill, they get another one, and straight inside Roshan that they go. Still 15 seconds left with Exorcism, they do have extra damage from Alpha Wolf and also Cabold Foreman, the best uh, neutral creep in the game. Looking Gangsta, sitting outside the Roche pit, not allowing anyone to get in. Oh, Whisper trying to go in, but he's tossed back into the middle of all this noise. Don't get his BKB off. Gojira with a snowball, Lasso on to jam, the battle trance that aggressively played into the DP. Broil now, maybe in a bit of trouble as he's rooted up, but killed up by K1, the troll going wild. Oh, Whisper, he's in mid, Lasso's up DJ. Can they even kill the Tiny? He's so incredibly tanky. And the Hurricane away from the Firefly gives him the safety he needs. The Winter's Curse required from Stinger just to kill the position four. K1, he's gone in, surrounded by PL Illusions and charging forward. Very bullish move from K1 to try and hunt down the PL. Nice cookie in. Walrus punch two. They've got him. They Dead kill the PL. PL. K1 using that battle trance just to get some extra attack speed. And now watch out. Have a BKB. In comes Bryle. They know that K1 spent everything he's got. Can he disengage with a cookie back? Maybe to the high ground he'll go. Stinger's out of gas though. And Whisper can't save his mate. The rolling thunder connects and K1 drops. It looked good from Beast Coast, but Fnatic showing that they can fight back even with their carry down. Stinger's out of mana. DJ is in there again. Avalanche toss, fake grenade forward. Stinger stuck in the trees while C Smile, he can't connect. The Yules to save Jabs will get away from Whisper and a C Smile, but and a four staff away will make this snowball follow him over the shards up to high ground while Bryle is causing chaos in the back lines. Trying to chase in towards Stinger and Sea Smile. While Gojira doesn't die finally. Bryle still rolling towards them, but cursed up now. Yules on the troll. Holds him in place for a sec. The lasso comes and K1 opens up. Unleashes on Bryle. J a jab's gonna be the next target of choice. They've got the axes, but the Longasaur returns the snowball back towards them and toss to the high ground. K1 stuck now. What can he do? He can't get he can't out. Do anything. He's surrounded by Fnatic now. Kills off a ward, but they're just gonna poke and out. South American Arteezy stuck. He can't move. Eventually, he's gonna die. They, they need some kind of a force staff. They need to help him out. A beast goes to be saving Prod. There it is. There's a cookie. playing as him. They do get him down at long last. Doesn't have BKB, but he has the battle trance. Still dropping low as he's small. Shredded by Tomato. K1 about to die as well. Yeah, so no BKB. Kill. This long duration silence from Dead Prophet. And they also did use uh, two buybacks. I like that Brian had a very good read on this fight and didn't because they can react uh, potentially with uh, a Yule Scepter or something on him if he does not have a BKB available. Sea Smile, the curse to maybe save him, but Sea Smile was tossed back too deep. Bryle will chase him back. The BKB's up, Lord trying to go, but the poor little snap fire demolished. Oh, they use it to save DJ. Now they're going to get him out of there. Keeping them all alive. 
Battle Rider does get his refresher delivered. It's Bryle. Rolling Thunder coming to an end, causing chaos by those tier fours. But the focus is on the tier three bottom lane. Get the mega creeps going. Shut Beast Coast down. Silence on the troll and force him back. And DJ with another Avatar. Stinger. Half HP. Glimmer came up. Lasso there, but Lotus all back. They can't move. Whisper is going to He's going to get it off. Yes, he can. K one's in. He's got the bash onto the DP. But he can't stick on this Tomato PL. The Phantom Lads are doing too much against the Batrider now. Dives in. Kills off Whisper. K one being burst down as well by the Ghosts. They're all dead. As Stiv layers to the mid laners in case they do get roamed upon. Jera going to combo down the Warlock. Holds the toss until the last moment to allow Whisper to come in with a bit more nuke damage. Even coils him up. And got the leash on the Jug, but the Omni Slash slicing through Gojira now. Gets the trade one for one. Mid lane, see Smile. Oh, he's taken down by DJ and Bryle. This is, it means the game's the going lander. so well, you don't even need to use it. Or you're getting that many kills that... Yeah. It doesn't allow, game itself does not allow you to use it. This is a, this is a core Nature's Prophet. Well, it was. Not anymore. Dead on our screens. Philosopher's Stone grabbed up by Fnatic. And we do start to see these tier 2 items filtering every time. It's Gaben's guarantee. That's a good one. Jabs. Trying to split push. But Roshan falls. Beast Coast quick to react. And these tier 1 towers kept alive. Not a single one has fallen on this Beast Coast side. See Smile back through the portal. Straight up toward Desperate. Scrambling for a kill on the Tiny. He's got a blink in a second, but the chains catch him just before it comes off cooldown. A pickoff for Fnatic allows them to play across the map. It's five-man rotation just to be able to get one position for CK Illusions already pushing out to every single lane. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's basically position five. Lowest net worth on the Radiant team is that Tiny. And Chantra starting from the Mjolnir. Doing a little bit of damage as Whisper dives straight in onto Dubu and DJ. They've got the healing ward out. K1 being spun at, but a tanky CK. Not That's the top of the BKB. The jab's going to get dragged around and killed off. CK with that BKB just opens up. And it's mid lane and Barracks with a toss back. Ryle has the BKB himself. Fnatic using and wasting so many cooldowns just to stay alive a little bit longer. And now the dive in onto Bryle. They'll find the Ember Spirit, silence the kill. And even with a Dubu rock dropped in, C Smile will finally die to the Omni Slash of the Juggernaut. Buybacks galore from Fnatic now. But C Smile returns well. Yeah, trying to get it. They were trying to get this to Fiend's game. They got jabs and they're diving for more. C Smile has respawned, comes back in, and surely it's got to be game over now. Get ahead, get a couple of towers, get a couple of kills. Now 5k is their net worth lead if they spot DJ. Fisher onto two will hold them back, but look at Gojira's positioning. Able to wrap around and find the tiny combo. Light Striker Ray, trying to save out of the Solar Guardian, but he's already dead. Coming onto Gojira, Tomato joins the fight. The sleep there, finding the Viper jab, dying to the Sea Smile. BKB Lena unloading the long range right click attacks. And Tomato, well, chasing forward, but clipped by the Light Striker. Still Stinger available. With another stomp, and you're right, Whisper is red. High ground with Phantom Lancer with the Phantom Rush. Should mean that there's some kind of vision in triangle. Yeah, they should know it's Bryle. And he's picked off in the mid lane, finding Earthshaker in the back as well. She smile rips him apart. Pops the BKB. The green from Dubu will only delay the inevitable death of this dazzle. Caught in the trees and a double for Sea Smile. 15 to 8 with a 10k lead. 20 minutes in. They are cruising. 7-0-0, he has a monster Radiant from the depths. Tiny is hunting for them, standing. spotted a couple on the retreat, and Beast Coast smoking into their vision. Seeing DJ forcing him back, RP Solo onto the Viper, tops back in, Tomato low, and Laguna Blade kills off Dubu. See Smile turns on his BKB, focusing the Phantom Lancer, but Tomato's out of there. Jabs and Bryle now, the target right, of the choice. Lena. Try and blow up this Viper, and get a double kill while K1 backstabs into the retreating lines of Fnatic. Their formation broken, morale in the dumps, and a triple for Sea Smile. Two illusion heroes battling against each other. Sea Smile tries to go for initiation with the Bling Dagger, not the easiest way to initiate on a Phantom Lancer. Oh man, Phantom Lancer, he does have Eater Lance. Okay, with the and shard. And the shard. That's a, that's a bit... Uh, 
I still gonna help him. I, I don't know about this item build. But... I might not be it. Wants to keep the distance, oh. I guess, uh, to be able to not be close to fight and uh, just keep spamming, burning the mana, but then going for S and Y as. Oh. Applying radius, applying radius, applying radius. That's what's going through his head, Gojira. Dead to Timado. Fanatic. Getting out him, he did the farm until CK showed up at his lane, nine minutes in. He's like, ah, I gotta stop. I'm gonna be following my CK, following my Lina. Well, if they smile, using a BKB, but look at that, Scotty slow. Yeah, it's like they catch the Lina, then she turns around and catches you. Okay, one. He's in with his BKB on jabs. Solar Guardian from Bryle. Pulling back, Beast goes. Oh! He comes in with the RP. Great. You're there on to jabs, but he's still being slapped around by K1. He's smart, but no BKB up. Laguna Blade down, but he's going to drop. Fnatic fighting back and able to take down the big target on Beast Coast. Earthshaker gets the kill there, so that's item build. Going for Phantom oh. Style next. Then found the no uh, Radiance uh, from uh, Neutral Items. Both the flames. Oh, he did. And K1. He's been jumped in with Echo Slam in. He'll bomb out of the Shadow Wave, and he's trapped in between the Illusions and the Fisher. Roshan, 25 seconds away. And the CK dead for 80. He Skewer. Looking for an opportunity. Bird Splitter will land into jabs, but Tomato doing a pretty decent job doppelgangering around. I don't think Beast Ghost can stop this though. Do boost. Here I think about going in. Maybe they can make a jump to steal. They're waiting for the Crimson. To move on in. Gojira stunned up by the Fisher. Roshan nearly did. The tiny is the RP. Whisper catches three. Skewers the back end of the stomp for the move in. K1's respawn and he's battling it. Bryle gonna fall here even after the grave while see Smile trying to open it up. But Phantom Lancer got the Roach, got the Aegis, and Fnatic, they bail. He got out though. Nether Toxin and Fisher with the Aftershock Shard. Super good to delay this push, but the skewer back and the drag in. Reality Rift, another displacement tool the Beast Coast are utilizing very well. Might be forcing the buyback out of the Earthshaker at this point, too. Dead for 40 seconds and a catapult wave, making short work of the tier 3. K1 in with Whisper, jumping once more. This time on the Jazz, they found an isolated survivor. Trying to focus him down. Damn it. Oh, they killed him off. He's dead with our buyback, and a toss back, saving Sea Smile. Tomato and Bryle, they want to chase this, find any stranglers, look for some kills, Sea Smile's left alone. Life Strike Array and the movement speed is out. Shadow Blade in a second. Gojira with the Avalanche, the Shadow Blade, but in goes DJ! Echo Slam to kill off two! For these buildings, double buyback from Fnatic. As Tomato, he's aiming for the back lines, the Lena. Silver Edge to Invis and slip away. Jabs. Oh, you step too far forward, you in Avalanche, but the BKB before the top. Good turnaround from the Viper. Up that Crimson. Uh, Gojira, so tanky. Yeah, four staff. Four staff from Stinger. Down to the low ground we go. Beast Go just going to reset. They've forced Fnatic to buy back a number of heroes. Gojira likely to die here with a Solar Guardian landing on his head. Beast Ghost should be pretty happy about this. They did 20 seconds still with no Lena, but the jump in the pit is an Arira made the slots already. He got the ages. Gets it! Steals the ages! And Royal shredded by K1! Timano is fighting Gojira now. They'll kill off the tiny. Still not dead. Oh, uh, will die eventually. Dies to the damage over time while Stinger caught out with a stun of DJ. But Jabs forced to BKB and K1. Beast Smile wants to go for Mega Creeps. He's up on that top lane, killing off the final barracks. He's gonna wrap around in behind. Oh, dusted up, see Smile. He's opened up on jabs. Huge damage onto the Viper as they land in with a Solar Guardian. But for Natsu, they mean backstab in, the Echo Slam's good. They find the kill. They get both Whisper and C Smile, and they're not down. Now it's time to strike. Get into K1. Tomato's Phantom Lancer. This is where he shines. Late game chaotic team fight. No Lina, no Magnus. K1 hexed up. Turn and drop Piggy. They're gonna try and barbecue him here as K1 is hunted down with a Fisher blocking him in. Fnatic will surround him with a Centaur coming in clutch as well. Stops up the CK and kills him off. Oh, maybe it's too late. Like this, there. This is a potential comeback from Fnatic. This is, this is a PL game. This is absolutely a PL game for Tomato, even against Mega Creeps. So I think you're right. Beast Ghost wants to put this one to bed. Bonk it on the head, as the panel would say. As they do get in on top of Ryle, but he's four staffed away. 
The Beast Coast keeping all of these lanes in the dire base though. And an RP jumping onto Jab. See Small there toward the Viper. The Great Rave comes in time. Finds a bit of space for Jab now to turn on the Stinger. The RP again. Whisper is on three of them and K1 cleaving in. See Small shreds through the PL and pronounces it. There is no buyback remaining. One buyback for the Viper, but that's got to be good.